runoff. How will that affect Alabama? Brantley Weatherford joins us live from the newsroom. Brantley, you spoke with party leaders today. What did they say? Well, good evening, Paige. Both sides had different thoughts on how this could affect Alabama. One side thinks there won't be much change, if any at all, and the other one thinks this will have a negative effect on the state. With the Georgia Senate race coming to a close, how will the new blue lean affect Alabama? State Representative Dexter Grimsley thinks there will be change, but not drastic. The Democrats now have control of the, the Senate if, if, if it carries on the way it's going, and of course then it will affect the entire country. Uh, not saying whether or not it'll make mass differences or changes in the state of Alabama, but it will affect the entire country, which Alabama is a part of. On the other side, Representative Paul Lee thinks it will be bad for the state because Senator Richard Shelby will lose his chair on the Appropriations Committee. That person in that position is very, very important, and he's been very good to help us in the state of Alabama. And if uh, we lose control in the Senate, then we lose him in that position. So that's going to be a negative, very big negative impact for the state of Alabama. So why is Shelby important to the state? According to Lee, it's because he has done a lot to bring in money for programs around the state. He's brought over a billion dollars to the FBI complex there at Redstone, 560 million just in the last month, additional money to that, 3.5 billion dollars to Marshall uh, uh, Space Center in Huntsville. And other things Lee says Shelby has done is bring in $1.2 billion for Fort Rucker for training and also $50 million to Tuscaloosa for the National Water System Center. All right, Brantley, thank you so much. Meanwhile, President elect